Hello, this is Quack <laughs> Talk. I hate ASMR. <laughs> Any video that says ASMR on it, I don't watch it. Dad, Dad, stop ruining your <laughs> This brother. is Sleepy Reader, and, and this is, as you've already heard, Quack Talk. <laughs> and we are Sorry. going to take a look together at the DC Previews um issue or whatever what have you catalog that came out this month my and favorite you our thoughts previews. On it. since between us probably dc is our favorite um yeah because at the moment i mean we prefer old dc in many often but we're also interested in new dc so we're gonna look at this catalog which is well, Dad, how dare you say that you like dc more that we like dc more i used to like marvel more to audiences to audiences. All of you audiences out there, sorry, I like DC more. It doesn't matter what what you like, all there right? There are some really good Marvel comics. Yeah, and yeah. Some like the unbeatable comics. Squirrel Girl. And some good Archie comics. And some yeah, good, Archie. a few good IDW comics. Okay, we will turn the camera around and, any and other give you our thoughts on this uh, DC preview. Okay, here we are with DC previews for October, which came out in August. Yeah, because it's always um, like two, two or three. And I guess the something. big, the their biggest book coming out this in October will be um, Joker slash Harley Criminal Sanity. Gotham City's greatest criminal profiler is about to meet her match. I'm not. I'm not really interested in this. So. Right, and I find this cover to be very ugly, and I'm not too interested in the, I kind the of current like the top day version picture, of Harley. But the bottom one, right, ugly. Okay, and then uh, we're not gonna. We're not too interested in this adults-only basket full of heads. Gross horror, not our cup of tea, right? Well, your cup of tea, but not mine. A little bit. Things can get too gross for me. Well, you like horror. Though. I do like horror, but when I hear basket full of heads, I'm not. I'm not. My head isn't immediately turned. I'm not we immediately, immediately get drawn to the fact. That two Supergirl issues are included right. in Year of the Villain. That's quite annoying. It's a bit annoying. overwhelming how many comics are being sucked into Year of the Villain. Along with Supergirl, um, I was upset to see uh, Justice League Dark on this list and Detective Comics and Hawkman, all comics I'm currently into. Um, and I'm sure readers of so many of these other comics are... Not going to be happy. Since about we don't, it. It looks like two issues. Of, two issues of each comic are on this list. Two issues of Justice League Dark. Two issues of Supergirl. So that's kind of a bummer. I'm surprised Batman's part of the list because I know it has its own City of Bane story going. I guess they're going to loop that into the Year of the Villain. Maybe, maybe they will have concluded that by this point anyway. By October? Well, this is advertising October books, so I assume these are October books. Yeah. But let's look at the actual... It's interesting how DC kind of gives you a slice of the cover, so you're not seeing the whole cover, I don't think, but most of it. So Bat, The Batman's Grave interests me, but... No, I don't, I don't think it interests me. I'm not really super into Batman books mm -hmm. anyway. Birds of Prey, a new version of Birds yeah, this, of Prey. Yeah, this looks starring, quite interesting. Starring, I think it focuses on Black Canary and then kind of co-stars the Huntress and Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn is in so many books right now. It feels like right. she's like three different people. And Emanuela Lupacino, that's an Emmanuel artist that, uh, that we've enjoyed. Is this like previously. Emanuela Lupacino art here? That's her cover, yeah, I believe. And... Um, I don't know. With Brian Azzarello as the writer, I don't know if that's going to make that uh, quacking duck friendly or not. Well, what we'll give the first issue. A try. I thought you were going to stop calling things like kid friendly. Right. So now it's just quacking duck friendly, somewhere between um, kid and grown up. Joker year of the villain, Black Adam year of the villain. I think I neither of these interest us. I may, I might pick up this um, facsimile edition. We'll see. It'll depend on my whims on the day it comes out. Da bot. Joker versus Harley. We've already said that does not interest us. And then another. Why joke, are there so creepy many Joker and Joker Harley story. books? I both. I'm a little. I'm just Jokered out, and I'm also yeah. tired of the feeling that the Joker just has to become sort of sicker and sicker and sicker. And there's a point beyond which I lose interest. 
Yeah, no. I'm kind of jokered out. Mm. Like, they just include him in, like, every Batman. Now, how about you? When you see a man in a girdle and a nice, weird skirt between his legs and a battle <laughs> axe fighting some vague monster thingy, do you immediately want to get it? Um, no. Uh, men in girdles is not your thing. First of all, this outfit is like totally ridiculous. Second of all, I'm not in. I'm not super interested in giant monsters in my stories. Uh, Third of all, it's a man, and it looks like like. I mean, this could very well be symbolic, but like, I don't know. I'm just not. I'm not uh, like super too interested. Too male and silly. Yeah, I'm kind of interested because it has a Conan vibe, but I've never heard of the writer. I mean, I'm typically not interested in things with Conan vibes. Yes, that's only me. And it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a only you. $4.99 book, so I don't... I'll, if it's in the shop, it, it might be one where I would look at the pictures and see if I'm tempted. Like, my voice right now sounds pretty good in real life, but it's probably not going to sound great in the video, because... Because I'm going to put special effects on it to make you sound ridiculous. Like this? Yes, <laughs> the helium effect. <laughs> so how about Legion of Superheroes, written by Michael Brian Bendis. Brian Michael Bendis, sorry, Michael. Well, I mean, you might sorry, confuse Brian. him with Brian Hitch. Brian Hitch. So are you interested in this yes, one? Yes, I yeah. am. And I think it's already on my pull list because when, when I saw issue one last time. I'm a little nervous every time Brian Michael Brendis just takes something over. But I am excited for more Legion. And I love that art. Yeah. So I think he's doing just a like two-issue build-up to the official Legion book called Legion of Superheroes Millennium, which I think is like a DC history of the universe. But this is universe. Legion of Superheroes Millennium. But it's like a build-up to like the backstory of the history that leads up to the Legion, I believe. And I then wanna, after I that, the we'll be. I want to find the first issue, though. We will get the first issue. I have it on. My, and then, um, then after these two issues, I think there'll be like a just a regular Legion of Superheroes. Wait, also, this is forty-eight pages. Right. And yeah, and that's four ninety nine also. But I think I'll get that. Um, Metal Men. I mean, it's I've always written wanted by Dan to like DiDio. the Metal Men and never have, or haven't read the right Metal Men comic. And I don't think Dan DiDio is the person to give me the right Metal Men comic. Although I did like his OMAC. That's the only comic he's written that I liked. And this this looks really interesting. This seems too. very unusual from DC. I think I saw Marvel also doing kind of a. Asian style, anime style comic book. This looks recently. incredibly interesting to me. Um, I've realized that um, Ruby or R W B Y is their their initials. The initials of these four girls. So it's four magical girls at a school. Of yeah, magic. It sounds like basically like. How many how many shows and books do you think you've uh, consumed with schools of magic in them? Um, actually not that many. Ten? Twenty? Ah, uh, seven. Okay. I don't know. Actually, like, <laughs> like, not as many as you think. Well, I immediately think of Winx and Harry Potter. Winx and Harry Potter and the book that I'm reading right now. School uh, of Good and Evil. Keeper of the Lost Cities. Keeper of the Lost Cities. School of Good and Evil. Other than that, really nothing. What about, um, what was that uh, ever after high school? Remember okay, that? but that was like forever. That was a long time. That was forever ago. Okay, fine. Ever after okay. high and monster high, right. but like that was like... Okay, and then so maybe I'm, like seven. I'm interested in hell. Anyway, this is a combination of two types of stories that you've enjoyed in the past, and Marguerite Bennett is a no, good writer. No, they're just so a cliche stories into. for my audience. But this is a good right. writer, and I want to get it because right. it sounds good. Well, they're cliches because, that are popular because they're, they're a good. They're good ideas. For stories. They're cliches. For this story is going to be engines. different from the cliche, though. Okay. Or this might because be. Because it's called Ruby. No. Dad. And I don't, this is a one shot about Hellblazer, and I I have no idea whether I should get that or not. I I'm feel like this is just what you're assuming people my age like. I make a lot of assumptions. Secrets of Sinister House. I think this must be a Halloween special. Eight Nightmares from Comics' Most Twisted Talents. Careful with this stand because we don't want to 
I'm shake just the feeling the little thing. Do you here. want to read There's Superman no smashes the clan? I want. I sort of. Looks I my first thought seeing this and seeing this art is, oh yeah, I want to read that. And then I saw, seven ninety nine per issue. They are eighty pages per issue. So that's a dollar per still, ten pages. I guess that's I mean, a good deal. I mean, this is ten dollars. Um, oh yeah, that one's very overpriced too. So I'm not sure about any of these really high priced ones because they've the prices have just been escalating. Speaking of which, Tales from the Dark Multiverse at in at six dollars for forty eight pages. I don't know. I don't know about that. The Death of Superman with a, some new version of Supergirl. Or, no, it's probably Lois Lane. Really? Okay, let's read this. The Dark Multiverse takes on the highest selling comic book event of all time. Is it really? Yes. The Death of Superman. In a broken world much like our own, Lois Lane, you're right, twisted by rage and grief, becomes of the eradicator and takes is. revenge on those who let Superman die. Look, well, see, the camera sorry, just got sorry. bumped. Can you uh, fidget with this or something? No, I don't want this in the video, Dad. Or... It won't be in the video. Yeah, it will. Now with the power of a god, she's going to end the battle by any means necessary. And the reign of Superman will be... That one sounds good. And it is a one-shot, so maybe at six bucks I might go for this one. I don't know if I've read anything by Jeff Loveness. Brad Walker's a great artist, though. So I might try that one out. 100 page giants. I assume these are all reprints. Includes 24 pages of new stuff. Oh, I think these are, are what I've been thinking of as the. Wait, um, is the DC the Superhero Walmart. Girls going to be the new DC Superhero Girls? I don't know. I do not know. DC Superhero Girls Giant number one. But so it's a 100 page giant, but only 24 pages of new, new material. Well, it's 96 pages. I mean, it's pretty cheap for a giant for what they're. This, uh, another year of the villain, Action Comics, that cover looks just kind of confusing. Of course, he's like ripping open his shirt. No one will see that. Dad, of course, here, of course. Can I, can I just look at the deceased yes. variant cover? It actually looks a little bit better, except the fact that they're all zombified. Uh huh, right. It's a more interesting cover. Like, but everything zombified. is deceased now. Looks like uh, Brian Hitch. Yep, variant cover by Brian Hitch. Why? They always put him on variant covers, don't they? Aquaman. Do you like the long-haired, bearded Aquaman? Nah, I, I, I don't tattoos. really like... I mean, I kind of like the long-haired, bearded, but like I don't like the fact that he has like tattoos or whatever. Uh, and he ought to wear a shirt. I mean, come on. He's out in public. Like, I don't get that he's not wearing a shirt. Like, I mean, I get that people don't that wear... girl coming out of a giant boot. No, it's bats. Oh, anyway. bats coming out of giant boot. Where is Batgirl? Is that, Batgirl wasn't even. Were on there it. tiny bats coming out of her boots? Maybe. Batman with Catwoman. Hey, Dad, don't judge a book by Batman its cover. With Bane, you love Bane. Yes, yeah, City of Bane continues. Yay. Batman, Curse of the White Knight. I assume that's Batgirl, but is she in the Gotham Police? Yeah, Batman, the Outsiders. There's a lot of Batman. We're in the Batman section. Batman, 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 Batman. At first I thought it was alphabetical. Order. I'm excited for Batman Creature of the Night. It's only been like two years that since Batman the last Superman issue. That Batman Superman looks... Okay, that was oh, the sorry, 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 sorry. That Batman Superman looks kind of creepy. Yeah, that looks quite creepy. He's like, he put blood to make a Batman sign. Because, you know, Superman, he loves blood. Yeah. <laughs> Batman Teenage Mutant... mutant. Turtles. Now, you must like that, right? All kids are supposed to like teenage ninjas. No. Anything with ninjas you love. But that's a boy cliche. Okay. So you're making assumptions again. Okay, the assumption so, was correct. Remember how we love all those Silver Age covers by Neil Adams? This is what his artwork looks like now. Uh, less, loving it less. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'd like it in some context, maybe. Oh, James. Catwoman. Jones. Joel Jones, very good artist and writer. Deathstroke. I used to get Deathstroke, but I... I deceased, number five. Are you getting deceased? deceased? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. I Do you want me to? About. 
It's about people turning into zombies and eating each other. Oh. Brains. Detective Comics featuring Mr. Freeze. I mean, I thought it was Dr. Savannah. Oh, maybe it's Dr. Savannah. I, I think it's Mr. Freeze, though. Let's see. Mr. Freeze. Yeah. yeah I, you know, there's a Dr. Cold or something like that. But Mr. Freeze but is a doctor. Captain He's Cold? like a, a scientist. Isn't it Captain, Captain Cold? Captain Cold. Someone's a doctor. Anyway, Stop I don't know why he's Mr. Freeze and not Doc. Um, so it looks like, and then hey, because there's actually, a whole bunch of Doctor, Doctor Mr. Freeze comics, which I'm kind of I'm looking forward to those. Event Leviathan. I guess that means an event that's a giant sea monster. Yes, that's my assumption. I think it, I think it's a really big event called something that means a really big mm-hmm. event. I think Supergirl might be related to Venom. This is an event called I Left My Mask (laughs) at the Beach. Oh, no, in the snow. In the snow. (laughs) Silly me. Yeah, I left my mask at that ski resort. And more flash. Flash I'm not sure if I have enough speed or force to run over there. Scott Lovedell and Brett Booth back together. That'll give you a nice 90s flashback. What, what Freedom do you mean? Fighters, no, 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 I love no. that. Gotham City Monsters, I didn't know about. Oh, I would have wanted to get this comic, but it has one flaw <laughs> in the byline. One of my least favorite. DC well, I mean, writers. at least he isn't writing the Super Bowl anymore. Yes, that's a cool cover, though. I hope Steve Orlando isn't watching this. I've never heard of this artist, M. M and M and K. I'm sorry Mel- if we like Penn. are totally. Oh, but the cover's by Philip Tan. Dad. Yes. I really hope Steve Orlando isn't watching this. Sorry, Steve Orlando. If you're, watching I know this. lots of other people like your writing. I just don't, or maybe I just have a different taste than your storytelling style. That looks horrible. <laughs> I think to me, this might least. be the final. Could it be the final Grant Morrison? I don't like the cover. Uh, it is just. Bleh. At least this part of it. They're saying after it's a special double or extra sized issue for extra money. And then there's this comic Harleen. But at least it's only for like one or two it's, more. Right. Dollars. So I think it's the culmination of whatever Grant Morrison's been doing that no one understands on the Green Lantern. Harleen, are you interested in Harleen? No. Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy. Seeing a pattern here. I mean, that's kind of cool, but... Hawkman. So maybe it is an alphabetical order. Okay, this is exciting. I hope I put number one on my pull list. But that cover looks kind of... It looks like a Jack Kirby monster. Let's see, but it it says... It's rated T for teen, but not teen plus, so that's promising. It's meant to be the days of Earth's rebirth after the dreaded invasion, but it doesn't look like... Dominators have left Dangerfield, Arizona, nor are they done making the Inferior Five their unwitting toy cat toys. Plus, the return of Peacemaker, a broken soldier of a broken time for a broken time. This looks All way this more serious Angry Charlie than too. the original. It does, and I wonder if it's the actual characters like Dumb Bunny and what are the other ones? Well, names? I think they're gonna call her something else than Dumb Bunny. Right, but what are the other Wait, ones? Wait, did we ever even record the blimp that or something? video? No, we remember we didn't in the end. Anyway, I'm kind of excited to see what Inferior 5 will be like. But it may be less kid-friendly than the original Inferior 5, unfortunately. You promised not to say kid-friendly. Oh, okay. Maybe less um, parent-friendly. Yes. <laughs> Parents who worry about their kids. Justice League Dark, I'm psyched for that. Even though it's Year of the Villain, I'm sure somehow it'll be good. I hope. Yeah, I'm still psyched for Supergirl, too. And have we come to Supergirl yet? Yeah, because it's... Martian Manhunter, an, one of your favorites, by Steve it's Orlando. It's an no alphabetical order. Oh, that makes sense. Lois Lane. So L, then M. I didn't even notice that. I think it is, at least. I think this is a weird cover for Lois Lane. I think it's more about more about the question. There's a female version of the question from the old, before the New 52, I think. Nightwing by Dan Jurgens. That almost tempts me. I think Dan Jurgens. I don't know if he's been doing Nightwing for long. He's a good, solid superhero writer. Red Hood and Red Hood Outlaw. Scooby-Doo, where are you? I feel like they find... 
I feel like they find if they put blood on their covers, they might mm-hmm. sell more. Oh, that, sorry, 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 sorry. Oh. Are you still interested in Shazam, or is it just me at this point? I mean, I guess we could try reading it. I'm just so behind, I'm not sure. Right, we'd have to dig up the old, old issues and read them. The only thing I don't like about Shazam is, and I guess it's from the movie, is this symbol with the Kirby crackle inside of it. It looks like a mirror... And don't or a like window exactly how of a muscular bolt. they made them. Like right, they really went. Over. That's this artist also, style. Also, do they only have? I mean, they have two girls actually. They have two but. girls, but they're not. They one of the girls got cut off here because that's not the whole cover. It's a slice of the cover. Oh, These here's, guys basically here's just Supergirl. Look like it does cover. not even have Supergirl on the cover. Has this? I mean, it has person. her symbol. Well, Superman. The Supergirl symbol gets that down Supergirl deeper is. into Leviathan's plan. So I guess you're the villain and Leviathan are related. And search for her foster parents. The newly sentient Brainiac One. Is that Brainiac One? Doesn't no, have the I traditional think that's Brainiac Leviathan. look. Whatever. Is Leviathan I think that's a person? Leviathan. Huh. Uh, the newly sentient Brainiac One drone realizes the one thing he Leviathan. needs to unlock the power of millennia of Kryptonian science is the Girl of Steel herself. With her focus on her Earth family, will her focus, wait, with her focus on her Earth family, will the distraction make her an easy target for the ma- mad AI? And how will Leviathan respond as she gets closer and closer to their plans? So I think Leviathan is a group of criminals rather than I a single I actually kind person. of like the DC cover. Except for the zombie. I mean, it has blood, but, but at like, least it has a good She's Supergirl. not a zombie. Is Supergirl even in DCs? I don't know. I'm going to sound really weird when I said that. I'm going to sound really weird. Superman looks like it's about Superboy and Robin. It's about the Super Sons returning. Oh, Superman's The Superman's pal, pal Jimmy Olsen. Olsen looks fun. Apparently, Jimmy is dead here, and that's Jimmy's brother named um, Timmy Olsen. So, do you think he'll turn out to be dead? No. Or not dead for more than an issue? Sorry. Yeah, like... Frank Miller's year one, Superman year oh, one. Oh, isn't number two number of that three. coming? Isn't number two of that already out now? Um, do I have it? I don't know if it's out yet. I think it must be every other month if the third one's coming out in October. So maybe maybe it is coming out this August sometime. Ooh. Teen Titans, Ooh. which we should be interested in, but we're not really interested in Teen Titans, are we? The Terrifics. I keep thinking maybe I should go back and get well, why into Terrifics Why is again Superman robot in the Terrifics? Writing, writing, well, writing. Bizarro robot, maybe. Bizarro. It looks like a Bizarro, I don't know, a Gladiator. Wildcats, Wonder Woman. She's a statue Wonder who's missing her head. Woman. I don't like what they did to her skirt. I mean, I actually kind of like it, but it's like. Oh, look, we've got to get the Wonder Woman annual. It's by our favorite writer. Oh. <laughs> Books of Magic, the, the uh, Neil Gaiman verse, you might say. Lucifer, I'm still a big Lucifer fan. That goes on. Doom Patrol, Collapser. Oh, I think great. I am getting Collapser. issue two of Collapser because I forgot to drop it. But <laughs> unless I love issue two, I'll probably drop it. And we don't need all those curse words in this house. Um, Doom Patrol, Weight yeah. of the Worlds. I'm looking forward to Mrs. that. Mrs. Sleepy Reader will probably dislike it. Yes. Valley for Hero looks cool, but I, I really did not like the first issue, so I have not continued with it. But if I hear it's really great still, maybe What about Wonder trails. Twins? Wonder Twins I tried for about four issues, and I did not think it was funny. But um, you could try reading those four issues if you want. I just don't know where they are. Too so. long. I can dig them up. Yeah, Young Justice we're still reading. Yeah. I don't. I think the last. I think we read issue seven, and you liked it a lot, and I kind of liked it. If I'd read it with you, I might have liked it more. So we got a lot of multiverse adventures going on. I think that, that looks like it's still the case. Oh man, lost in the multiverse with no way home. The teens of Young Justice find themselves trapped in a dark world that was once run by the evil Justice League known as the Crime Syndicate. That sounds good. But is now run by their younger, more feral, more anarchic counterparts. The young curse word, curse word, curse words. They are not nice. All this and finally the truth behind Teen Lantern. 
But aren't there more issues coming before that? Yeah, because this is two months ahead. So we there's two issues we haven't read oh, before this. Oh, so out. why is there like Watchmen here? The dollar comics where they reprint classic issues, hoping that you'll then buy the trade. And of course, I have two or three different versions of Watchmen already, so I have bought the trade. And I own the trade to, or used to own the trade to this. I read this in issues. Anyway, Batman Universe, Superman up in the sky, racing with the Flash. We've got to read that, right? Mm, yeah, I want to read that. Titans, Burning Rage. I don't know much about this. Maybe we should look into that. Maybe this is a good all ages Titans thing. And Starfire. Is that Starfire? She has and Starfire. full clothing on, relatively Well, I speaking. mean, her... A full bathing suit. Her breasts are actually covered. Right. Well, she needs that protection, I believe. Um, I like how in the later the New 52, the when they sort of rebooted it to DCU, they had, Jeez, they had changed so her outfit, better. you know? Mm-hmm. To, like, one that I actually kind of liked. I mean, it had a little bit of skimpiness to it, but... Are these ones they've already shown us? Supergirl the Infected? Supergirl number 36? Oh, this is stuff coming out in November. They just want you to get extra... So even though this is the October catalog, they want you to get excited for November. Again, the variant looks better than the... Infected cover. Huh. Are these lenticulars? That must be it. They're showing us the two different versions as you tilt the cover. It says acetate covers. Maybe they're uh, covers with overlays. That's interesting. But more expensive, I see. No, three ninety nine. Huh. Well, that'll be kind of fun. I don't think we'll get any comics we wouldn't normally get because of that. And so I just bought the omnibus well re fairly recently bought the omnibus of the fourth world and now they're coming out now they tell me they're coming out with the absolute edition which i'll probably feel like i want so i guess maybe i'll sell my omnibus i don't know or just double triple quadruple dip on the new guys and i don't know if there's any other Stuff coming out in book. This is well, all the book you're stuff. The villain omnibus. omnibus. Or, will it, your villain won't even be over, will it, when that omnibus comes out? This is interesting. DC's Wanted, the world's most dangerous supervillain. Yeah, because aren't they doing it for a whole year? And I might get DC Holiday Nightmares. Even though, what is with them? They can't just have a fun Christmas. They have to make it a nightmare. I still want to get it anyway. Mm hmm and this looks fun. Flash, 80 years of the fastest man alive. That will be very tempting if I get it on in-stock trades for the 15 bucks. The death of Superman, the wake. The wake. I didn't even know about that. Hmm. Flash, year one. Is I love that how he has all these different shoes. Like Earth one? No, it's not like Earth one. And then they're reprinting some Hellblazers, I think. Justice League, the sixth dimension. That must be part of the current Justice League. But okay, this is interesting because this just came out in a one-shot comic, and now they're putting it out again as a hardback. Um, but it's 184 pages, so there must be a bunch of extra stuff. And this was actually my favorite Superman story in years. So I may double dip on that and get the hardback with the extra materials. Luther looking too much like me. That was a joke. Just I mean, you bald. have more I hair. I have more hair than Luther. You have okay, more so hair I think that's about it. He does. Uh oh, ASMR. <laughs> I'm going to shoot myself. <laughs> Dad, can I, tell you okay. can I tell you something? This looks way too much like Superman symbol. Yes. I mean, I mean. It does. <laughs> this looks way too much like Superman symbol. And what about this one? I mean, and what about this one? Do you want to get? Do you want to get the <laughs> Teen Titans Go weirder things? Yes, kind of. ASMR whispering is so relaxing. Well, maybe we already have those, or like are those like ones? We may have read those digitally. Yeah. I mean, I don't think we've been reading Teen Titans Go digitally lately, anyway. That's true. So, so I, I think we could just go and read it. On. We could T-Titans go and read it. 
Yeah. It might now be on DC Universe. Yes, it might be on DC Universe. Okay, maybe we should stop okay, the video now. Okay, with those now. words of any other words of wisdom. Um, why am I doing this? <laughs> because you're annoying. Okay, I we will talk to you guys later. Bye bye.